so today's video is going to be another fall themed video and I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite fall lipsticks. So I've got them all here in this cute little Clinique tin and I guess I will go right ahead and pull them out. I'm just going to be pulling them out whatever comes up. They're not in any particular order, um, they're just ones that I've been loving so far this fall season and ones that I've loved in previous seasons. So, yeah, I'll let's go ahead and get started. So, the first one that I've pulled out, I think there's 12 of them. Um, I had 10, but then I was like, I might want to pick some like nudes that I actually like to wear, because I got very like bold happy, I don't know. Um, one thing you will notice in this video is I really like bold lips for the fall time, as you can see right here. I like to do more of like gold kind of eyes if I plant my eyes at all and then do like really dark um, like berry or red lips so you'll definitely see that in this video. So the first lipstick um, on the opposite end of that is actually a nude and this one is Japanese Maple. It is a cream sheen formula from MAC so there is that one. This is a good one. Um, if I'm doing like a really heavy eye makeup. So the next lipstick I have here is Angel. This is one I'm sure you've heard a lot about. Um, this is just like a light pink color, so still very neutral. Um, one that I can wear if I'm really playing at my eyes. It is a frost formula. And this is just one of my favorite kind of everyday pinks to wear. Um, any time of the year really, but in the fall it's just really nice because it's not too nude but it's not too bold or bright. The third lipstick I've pulled out is from Clinique and this one is called Twilight Nude and it's a very like brown tone nude but I mean that's kind of what the trend is recently but I really like this one. Great again if I want a darker lip but I still need something a little bit more nude. Um, I like to go for this one a lot. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain and this is in the color Honey and again just a very um, kind of natural everyday color. You can see here I've obviously used it because the top of it is like all the way flattened out almost. Um, good thing you can swivel it up though. Yeah. Um, this is definitely one that I go um, grab for a lot if I've played up my eyes that day. Um, it's really quick and easy just because it's in that kind of stick form but it's a really awesome color. It's not too nude, it's not too pink, too brown with anything. It's just like the perfect shade for me and I absolutely love this one any time of year but especially in the fall. So starting to get into more of the colored lipsticks. This one is one I was a little bit hesitant to put in the video because I wasn't sure if it was limited edition or not but I don't know, I really like it, so I thought I'd put it in anyways, don't hate me. Um, I'm sorry if it's limited edition. But, this is a matinee lipstick from MAC. It's called Nocturnal Instincts. And this is one that's got a little bit um, of like a mauve, actually it is more of a mauve kind of purple color. And I don't know, it's not like a bright kind of purple, so I wouldn't necessarily say spring, but I feel like it's definitely a good one to transition into the fall. And I just absolutely love this one. It's a matte color, but it's not drying on the lips. This one is my last matte one to show you. I figured I would just get this one out of the way then. Um, it's one I've not really heard about on YouTube, um, like ever. I don't, don't know why. Um, just kidding. This one is Rebel um, from MAC. It is a satin finish. I don't even know what to say about this. This is a gorgeous color for fall. It's just a staple for me, um, like a lot of other people in the fall. This is the color down here, but of course, I've got the lip swatch as well. And this is very similar actually to the one I have on now. Um, this is not the one I'm wearing now. I'll show you guys that one in a minute. But I don't even know what to say about this. It's amazing. I wore it a lot last fall. I know I'm gonna be wearing it a lot this fall. This works really well. Um, I know a lot of people pair it with, what is it, Night Moth from MAC, the lip liner for a darker look, maybe to um, ombre or just deepen up the color. It also works really well with, what is it, I think Cabaret lip liner, um, there might be another one. Um, there's one from NYX actually that it works really well with. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a more affordable lip liner, but anyways, MAC Rebel awesome lipstick. Definitely check it out. 
So the next one is a newer one for me. It's a newer line for me, actually. Um, this is the one that I am wearing on my lips right now. And I'll swatch it next to Rebel. Um, it is very similar. It's a little bit darker. Um, this one, in this lighting, it looks like it's like crazy darker. But I don't know. It's, it's very similar if you're looking for a more affordable color um, in that family. But this one is called, I don't even know if I've said the name or the brand. This one is from MUA and it is in the color number 254 Mulberry. And MUA is a brand, if you um, follow any British YouTubers, it's in the UK. And I walked into my CVS and I just kind of turned my head to the left and I was like, oh my god. I started freaking out because MUA, there's like a whole little section for it. And my mom was like, okay, um, you're on crack. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I got really excited and I picked up three lipsticks, two in this formula, one in the one that's in like the round packaging. I don't know, but I really, really liked this formula. Um, this is the one in the square packaging and it's really smooth and creamy and it lasts a long time on the lips. It's not drying or anything and it's pigmented and, oh my god, it's amazing. I guess I'll show you the next two that I have from that line. Um, they're both reds. This one is one I've worn several times as well. Got a lot of compliments on at work. So, um, yeah, and I turned a bunch of people on at work to them. They're like, what is it? And, like, one guy had to write it down, and another girl was like, I'm definitely getting those. So, yes, MUA. Awesome. Um, anyways, yes. So this is a number 262 pomegranate. And, like I said, it is a red shade. It's a bit brighter, but I'm thinking for, like, holiday time, it will be like a really nice one and you know maybe to have I don't know I just I really like this one I know I'm gonna be wearing it a lot in the fall and the winter so this bright red this lighting kind of sucks but I will definitely do the lip swatches as you probably already know since you've been watching the video yeah so yeah and that one um what did I say pomegranate and then this one is a number 261 brick so this is the only one I've not like worn yet I've swatched, but I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot, just because A, I, like I said, I've worn these lipsticks in this um, range a lot lately, and the color of it I really like, so um, Brick is more of that kind of um, like brownie red, I don't know, it's a very, like, it's a brick color, so yeah. And then I've got three more lippies to show you. So two of them are lip butters, which you've probably not heard about in a while, but Still really good stuff. And then the third one is a Buxom. This one came in one of those lip sets last year. Um, it was funny actually. My boss bought it and I was like, I was trying to hold off on it and she got it and she swatched this color and I was like, <gasps> like I literally squealed and she was like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah, sorry, it was a pretty color. And so she's like, here, I have a bunch of these ones. So I was like, okay. So I don't know, I wore it the next day and it just, I loved it. So this is one I really like. This is um, called Menace from Buxom. So thank you, April. I know you're probably not watching this, but thank you for the lipstick. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a, I guess it's like a burnt raspberry color. It's a very deep color, but it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Really like that. They're creamy. Um, the Buxom lipsticks, I've no... I know you've probably heard about the Buxom lip glosses like crazy, but the Buxom lipsticks are actually really nice too. So definitely check those out if you're looking for a new one coming up. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to like hurry through these last ones because I'm sure the video is already crazy long and I don't want it to be super long. So anyway, um, last two, like I said, are the Revlon Lip Butters. This first one is in Pink Truffle. Looking for a lipstick that it's kind of a one-stop shop. You don't need a lip, use a lip liner and a lipstick and a gloss and everything. I would use this because they don't bleed on the lips. They're very hydrating and they're glossy. And then the next one I have in this line is Red Velvet. Again, another red um, pattern much. Okay, I really like reds, sorry. And this again is more of that brick color, but it's definitely, it's a brownie nude or brownie nude, wow, definitely not. It's a brownie kind of red color, but it isn't quite as crazy. Um, it's this one here. It's not quite as crazy as these other ones because it's a kind of glossier form. 
Okay, so those are all the lipsticks that I have to show you today that are my favorites for fall. Definitely let me know if you've used any of these, um, if you have them and you love them as well. Or if you have any other ones that you really love and you think I should check out, definitely let me know in the comments below so I can go look at them and spend more of my money that I should not be spending. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Definitely make sure to thumbs it up if you did and subscribe for more and yeah leave a comment and i will talk to you all in my next video all right bye guys